when you're trying to make people still live. When people choke and you wrap your hands around their stomach and do this. <laughs> it's helping their blood pump. Say that you are in an ocean and you like get too much water and you drown, it brings you back to life. Say so you're trying to make the, the heart beat and trying to get it to work. Like when somebody like not responding, you breathe, you, you breathe into their mouth or you push on their chest. Sometimes it does work, but sometimes other times they, they won't that won't work. So sometimes when you call the ambulance they'll have to they'll have to take care of it. So first you put your hands like this and then you start pushing on it and then press down a couple of times. You do like thirty of these chest compressions. Like this. you would have to do that to them so that they, their heart like doesn't rip open till he wakes up. So you go like this. <laughs> don't die. Come on, Henry, don't die. Saving a life, saving a life. First thing to say about CPR is everybody gets scared of it, everybody thinks they've got to put their mouth on it or do something that's dangerous or you're going to hurt somebody. If somebody is down and they are not responding to you and you can't wake them up and you can't shake them, any CPR, anything you do is better than not doing anything. So step one is have somebody call 911 before you start doing it. Step two is have somebody look for one of the automatic defibrillators. Step three is go ahead and start CPR, do something. You don't need to worry about breathing in their mouth you just need to start doing chest compressions. And when we're doing chest compressions, what we're talking about doing is physically squeezing the heart between the breastbone and the backbone with enough, enough force to just circulate the blood. And in doing that, there's actually enough movement of the lungs to entrain air back and forth in the lungs. So at least currently, we don't even feel that strongly that you need to do the mouth to mouth part. You just need to do the CPR part. But just call 911 and then start CPR. Anything's better than nothing, you're not going to hurt them, and you're protected by the Good Samaritan Law. So have at it. And the way I do it is I feel where the solar plexus is, I come up sort of to the mid part of the chest, I use the heel of my hand, and I lace my fingers here, and I'm not trying to push with my arms because my arms don't have enough strength, and I'm a reasonably strong guy, but I'm, I'm fairly close to being locked out. I'm using the weight of my body to compress. You need to get a good compression, and speed is as important as anything else. And so I'm just going to go at a fairly good pace, and you will get tired, swap off, and you'll be surprised. The EMS people will get there before you know it. But again, anything is better, anything is better than nothing. There are classes on how to do this if you really want to know the specifics. It's something that everybody can do and it shouldn't be scary. It's something everybody should know how to do. For more information and videos on how to keep your heart healthy, go to careerlandclinic.org slash beheartsmart. Stand up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> CPR stands for cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Can you say that? Cardio resuscitation. Um, what do you think you do when you see somebody having a heart attack? Freak out. Cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Cardio resuscitation. Almost. Almost. 